everybody. I'm Miss Beth, and I'm with the Brigantine branch of the Atlantic County Library System. I have a great story to share with you today, but I also have a fun song that I want to share as well. Now, the last time we were together, we sang a song called Hello Friends, and we used sign language when we sang it, and it was so much fun, and you guys did so great, and I heard some really great feedback from you guys. So I thought, well, we'll do a different one this time. So this song is called, The More We Get Together, The Happier We'll Be, which is really true, right? I mean, every time we get together, even if it's like this, when you get together with friends, it's fun. So we're gonna sing this song, and I'm gonna show you a couple of signs, and we'll get through this together. Are you ready? So the first word is more, more, all right? So you just take your fingertips like that, Tap them together a couple of times, that's more. And then together, so we're gonna make our fists and stick up our thumbs, all right? Put our knuckles together and go in a circle, kind of like you're stirring something, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be, happy. So happy, you just spread out your hands and it's like you're brushing your shoulders, brush up a couple of times and have a happy face. Happy. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Your, my. Your, my. And then friends, you might remember from the last time, it's our two pointer fingers, and it's like they're hugging each other. All right? Friends. Your Friends are my friends. And that's all you need to know. Are you ready to give it a try? All right, let's go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. How'd you do? I think you did great. Let's try it one more time. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Ah, oh, that was excellent. You did a wonderful job. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, speaking of happy, I know this boy who was perfectly happy until, well, we'll get to that. My story for today is perfectly Norman, all right? Perfectly Norman. There's Norman right there and his dog. I love that dog. Perfectly Norman was written by Tom Percival, and he does these magnificent drawings as well. And we're reading this story today, Compliments of Bloomsbury Publishing. All right, here we go. Norman had always been normal, perfectly normal, until one day he grew a pair of wings. Whoa! Norman had always imagined growing taller or growing a beard like his dad, but he never imagined growing a pair of wings. Still, they were here now, so he decided to test them out right away. Soon Norman was swooping around and generally having the most fun Ever. But then he had to go in for dinner. You see, Norman had always been so normal, he didn't know how his parents would feel about his extraordinary wings. Dinner! Oh, they're calling him inside. 
As he went in, Norman covered himself up in a great big coat. His parents didn't notice the wings, but they did think it was odd to be wearing a coat indoors. Bath time was problematic. So was bedtime. The coat was hot and uncomfortable, but Norman had decided that no one should see his wings ever. The next day, Norman went to the park but he was far too hot to play any of his favorite games. And so it went on. Long car journeys were unbearable. The swimming pool was dreadful. And that was nothing compared to his friend's birthday party. Oh, there's Norman being all left out. The only time that Norman could feel normal now was when it rained. One day, a boy tried to pull his coat off and Norman had to run away, hot-faced, angry, and sad. He wished he'd never grown those stupid wings. Then he saw some birds high up in the sky and remembered the joy of his first flight. It occurred to Norman that it was the coat that was making him miserable, not the wings. Why don't you take that scruffy old thing off, suggested his mom and dad. Norman looked up at them hesitantly. Look, he doesn't look so sure about that, does he? His parents smiled and nodded. Norman smiled back. Then he threw off his coat and let his wonderful wings fan out. Norman leapt into the air. Finally, he was free of that coat. He noticed a few other children wearing thick, heavy coats of their own. They looked up at Norman and around at one another nervously. There was a moment's pause, and then, whoosh, the sky was filled with flying people. Norman had never felt so happy. And he realized there was no such thing as perfectly normal, but he was perfectly Norman which was just how it should be. I love this story. It's bold and uplifting. It's, um, it's about daring to be different and celebrating you being you. And you are perfectly awesome. Until next time, remember, the more we get together, the happier we'll be.